RARUC stands for Risk Adjusted Return on Capital. It is calculated by dividing the return considering a risk adjustment in the numerator, divided by the capital or committed equity in the denominator. In turn, return is simply interest income minus the costs of lending money. Assuming that each operation is maintained for one year, interest income is obtained by multiplying the balance of the operation, exposure at default, by its annual interest rate. The costs, in turn, are made up of three elements, the financial cost, the operating cost and the default loss. The financial cost refers to how much the borrowed resources cost. This is obtained by multiplying the resources used by each operation by the level of indebtedness or leverage that the entity possesses. The operating cost consists of those management costs required to place, maintain, collect, manage and settle credit operations. This operating cost can be divided, in turn, into two components. The fixed cost is one that remains constant regardless of the number of operations that the credit portfolio maintains. The variable fraction of the cost is that which depends on the amount thereof. Both parts are added at the level of each operation, to calculate the operating cost assigned per operation. Deterministically calculating default loss consists of the multiplication of three factors, the balance of the operation, that is, the exposure at default, the probability of default and the loss given default. When these three factors are multiplied, the default loss is deterministically obtained. To turn this deterministic loss into a probabilistic or stochastic one is where Monte Carlo simulation is required. The probability of default is replaced by a binary distribution of default, the magnitude of which depends on such probability factor. Thus, during a simulation, x percent of the time a default is generated, and 1 minus x percent of the time, no default is generated. The other factor that is substituted to generate a probabilistic loss is the loss given default, which will assume a continuous function, which will also be simulated during the Monte Carlo simulation process. By multiplying these factors during the simulation, a probability curve of the loss given default will be obtained. This is where the return is essentially risk adjusted. With this risk adjusted return, now also, the rare will be displayed in a probabilistic way, that is, as a probability distribution.